Education Secretary Leonor Briones and the other members of the Cabinet, Davao City Mayor Sara Carpio, represented by Davao City Administrator Sulika Lopez, kaya pala, tawag ng tawag itong mama, nasigurado akong magpunta dito kasi wala siya. Ngayon, naintindihan ko na nag-beach doon sa there was a almost uh, an order for me to be here at gusto niya sigurado nandito ako. Well, Ilocosur Governor Ryan Luis Singson Welcome, sir. Officials, coaches, and athletes of Palarong Pampansa 2019, led by Secretary General William Ramirez. And before I just uh, give you the last sentence, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of former Governor, Congressman uh, Ungab of the Third District. Sa kanya pong funding ito, together with, uh, well, of course, uh, the father of Carlo, pinagtutulungan-tulungan na ito so that this uh, structure here would be erected and used by the Filipino people. Mga kababayan ko, mga anak, I congratulate the local government and the people of the Vow for hosting this annual sports event for the second time since 1950. I am proud that after so many years, my home city will once again have the honor to welcome promising young athletes from all over the country. I am confident that with the construction of the Davao City Sports Complex, and the development of other sports infrastructure in this city, it could host other athletic events in the future. Indeed, this sports complex that features a football field, stadium, and a rubberized track oval, among others, is truly fitting venue for this occasion that will showcase the best that this city can offer. On behalf of Davao City and the rest of the nation, I welcome you, our elementary and secondary students from public and private schools all over the country who will participate in 36 sports events and competitions. I also wish all the best to the participants in the side events that include the Larong Pinoy or the Philippine Indigenous Games, which seeks to revive traditional Filipino games, as well as the Sports Heroes Day, which will provide our athletes the opportunity to interact with renowned sports personalities. Sports is truly really an effective avenue to instill among the youth essential characteristics for nation building, such as discipline, teamwork, perseverance, and all. Tuling ko muna dito, kaya po ako naman talay, talagang ginagawa ko lahat to protect the next generation. Itong lahat kong ito, especially dito sa law and order. Remember, I will not stay forever. In three years, I will be gone. I will retire, you will forget me, and that is good. Look towards and not backwards. But leave me uh, the... I, I ask leave of, uh, to say these things to you. Pag ang Pilipino hindi makaabot 
ng law and order enough for our civilization to survive baski ilang taon ang ibigay mo sa isang presidente walang mangyari at kung ang Pilipino ayong huminto sa graft and corruption ganun rin even if you give anybody for as long as there is no law and order in this country and for as long as there is corruption in government you can never expect development and progress to take place kaya kami you are just on the wings waiting i leave it up to you to decide someday what you intend to do about your country in yunayan you have so many options in a democracy and maybe piliin lang ninyo yung tao na who has the heart it could be a muslim it could be a magindanao it could be a tauso it could be an ilocano uh, i studied in manila and stayed in a dormitory and i uh, have met all of the tribes in the philippines and i am proud to be a filipino does it encourage parents to support their children to engage in sports and inspire them to always do their best in balancing sports and academics sports is truly an effective avenue to instill youth essential characteristics Sports plays an important role in encouraging the youth to live a healthy lifestyle and keep away from illegal drugs. Shabu shrinks your brain. And when it is shrunk, you are a living dead. Sabi ni Bato, there's about 1.6 million Filipinos addicted to Cebu. Santiago, who was this predecessor, said that are three million. I both of them are correct actually. Kasi yung bilang noon sa panahon ko, right after I assumed office, talagang lumabas sila nung panahon ko na All the time, the problem of drugs was swept under the rug. And to think that you have, I would like to project a number of 7 million. 7 million Filipinos who are slaves to a drug called Shabu. And ang social dysfunction ng family, wala na. Pag ang breadwinner tumaob sa droga, this family will simply crumble. And mong malaman mo, you know, pag tinamaan ito, he will get another one to support his wife. And this one will connect with the other. And everybody of them I suppose that the 7 million are also selling drugs. That is why I said to you now, and as I have said it before, do not destroy our country. And to the foreigners, I would say to them, do not destroy the Philippines and do not destroy the youth of my land. Papatayin ko talaga kayo. Papatayin ko talaga kayo. Magustuhan mo man yan ang sinabi ko, hindi, hindi ako nagbibiro. Talagang hihiritan ko kayo. Not if the last thing that I will do for my country, if I go to hell, to burn to eternity, so be it. Eh kung, if you want me hang or face a firing squad, I will be happy that I died for the next generation 
of Filipinos so that they have a comfortable life. Huwag kayong magkamali. Hindi po ako nagbibiro. Let me assure you that the government will continue to promote physical education and other relevant sports programs that will support our athletes in reaching for their dreams and aspirations. We will empower them to become the best in the respective fields so that may bring pride to our nation. When they compete in international events, such as the forthcoming South Asian Games that the Philippines will host from November 30 to December 11 of this year. This administration remains determined in pursuing campaign to eradicate illegal drugs, criminality, and corruption. I need your support, our young athletes, in this endeavor if we are to ensure a safe and progressive future for the next sub-generation of Filipinos. One last paragraph galing sa akin. Alam mo, the only thing that this country needs is for you, the young people, to assert your rights. Yan lang. Pag niloko ka, hinihian ka, or you are being corrupted, you tell the other guy, wag mo akong do not with me. Sabi ni Duterte, sampalin daw kita pag hindi papatayin kita, isumbong kita sa kanya. Baski sino, it could be whatever, policeman o taga-guberno, o taga mayor's office o taga Malacañan ako lang, ako lang sinasabi, sinasabi mo, hindi ako, hindi ako nag-iayabang. nag-iayabang kasi yung sa galit ko matanong ninyo yung mga presidential guard ako lang ang presidente yung nagbubugbog talaga dyan sa... bago kita ihulog sa Pasig River totoo tama yung may mga at ako lang ang presidente na nagpapakain ng pera. May mga extortion in the airports. Ngayon, wala na yan. Nagdagbala, yung hinge magpagdating mo. You know, it's always the young, the vulnerable, and yung mahirap. Easily get scared. Tapos yung planting ng evidence. Alam mo kasi na... Oh, Yung, you know, when you are, may drugs dyan, ilagay sa bulsa mo, and it is not really what in fact it is. Pahulihin ka, pagdating sa estasyon, ibubok ka. Then from there, there is no more release. Kasi yung droga is not available. Kaya ngayon, pag nandiyan ka, ang nanay mo, tatay mo, magbayad na lang kaysa maghintay hanggang eternity bago matapos yung kaso. Yung mga racket na ganun, sinasabi ko sa lahat. Sandali ha, pigilan ko lang ang bunga nga. Ayaw ko ng ganon. I do not want oppression. I do not want corruption. Pag nahula kita ng ganon, mauuna ka sa interno talaga. You will go ahead. But I will follow. Because I know that I will be going to hell. And it's alright. Hindi naman tayo mag-ambisyon ng langit lahat. Eh. Mat mapuno tayo doon. Tapos, dating mo doon, baka hindi ka papapasukin. Alam mo si San Pedro, busy masyado niya sa kanyang manukan. Ayan, yung manok niya nandyan sa, ano, sa gate. Sige, himas. Akala ko ba walang sabong sa... 
Let us keep in mind that by instilling among our youth the values of self-discipline, teamwork and love of country, itong love of country, you have to do something for your government. Pag may nakikita kang api-api dyan, huwag mong palusutin. You do not have to fight. You just assert your right. Not look, you are, you know, from this guy. So, tulungan mo, sumbong mo sa, sumbong mo sa akin. If it is a case of corruption, kung niloko ka, I will open the gates of Malacanian any time of the day or night. Kung matok ka lang, sabihin mo lang yan sa presidential guard, na niloko ako, hinold up ako, ginalaw ako, and I will go out with you, and we will try to solve the problem. If we cannot solve the problem, we will solve him. Ganun lang yan. Either you give your victim justice, or I will give it to you. So that if the parents are suffering, the parents are crying with blood, because what happened to the children, na hindi mo nga payagan yung langaw, pati lamok, dumapo sa katawan. Tapos yung lumaki na pag high school, sisirain mo ang buhay. Hindi ako isang ayon. Talagang baski noon dito, look at the boat. Sinabi ko, ayaw ko, ayaw. Pag ginusto ng polis, ginusto ng mayor, at magkaintindihan tayong lahat, walang kalupo. Sila, pati ako. We try to avoid oppression. We try to avoid yung pangyabang. I was elected, ilan lang. Then I am on my remaining three years. But, di bale, before this year, three years end, ubusin ko yung mga... Ubusin ko talaga yan. Para medyo problema ninyo. Together, let us nurture the talents by patriotic fervor over you. So that, kita mo, patriotic fervor. 2014, there are about 200 containers there sent by Canada para tayong ginagawa ng dump site. One day, inabot ako ng ano ba yun sa Tagalog yung sapot. Sabihin ko sa sabihin mo sa kanila, ikarga ko yan next week. Pag hindi nyo tinanggap yung basura ninyo, ibubukos ko yan doon sa magandang beach ninyo. Do not, we are not a garbage dump here. The Filipinos are not scavengers. And you do that to us as I, I am uh, I, as I am want to do. Ganon ako. Nagbababoy talaga ako ng tao. So, yan lang naman siguro ang gabi na. And the rains are coming. It's somewhere between this is the west side but the south one and one your north east is here so i think before the rains come better go back uh, keep yourself warm at kung hindi kayo contento sa kung ano man pagkain o yung gusto mo bed that is comfortable sabihin mo lang i-check in kita sa marco polo o sa insular hotel Okay? Totoo. Yung hindi lang nakadak na. Eh, mayroon dito yung, yung mama's boy. Iyak yan. Oh, I was once a boy scout. Sa Jamboree, Laguna. I said it was a tent, Jamboree. Pagkagabit, 
Hindi makatulog, maraming lamok. Tapos, wala, nang papatong-patungan na kaming lahat. Eh, hindi ako nasanay. Iyak ako ng iyak. But that was part of learning what life is all about. Salamat po.